Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Love Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Breath of Fire 2. On the last episode, we got Bunyan's axe by beating the ever living crap out of him, uh, and traveled back through the forest, back to Cala Calcio? Calcia? However you pronounce it. And uh, now I'm going to store my money in the uh, bank once again. First, I'm going to take one out. And you'll, you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Hopefully. So I got one zenny. That's all we need. So let's head. Oh, actually we have to head back into the pub. Because Rand couldn't get us in. And he only shows up at night, so let's wait until night. Yeah, yeah. Hang around till night. No bar in any place would let you do this. They'd be like, come back at night. <laughs> Don't hang around here. That axe you're carrying, you must be Bunyan. You don't look like the thing I was expecting. Dear Rep, I was expecting a genuine mad dog. This funky little lady beats the snot of axe crazy lunatic. Oh, whatever. Still in one piece after the show, let's meet Brown here for a drink. Well, now I can get in. And, uh, funny part is my name changed to Bunyan. Good old Bunyan. And here we are in the Coliseum. Please enter through the door on the right. So I'm gonna go to the door on the left. Nothing. Oh, yeah. You say the same thing? Yep. We've been waiting for you, Mr. Bunyan. HR director would like a word with you before we begin. Please go to the center room for your interview. Oh, boy. I always love dealing with HR. Yeah, it seems like HR. You know what? I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna go through this door. Nope, can. <laughs> Hi, uh. And this is an HR director. A beefy man in a loincloth flex <laughs> flexing his pecs at me. Tell me about yourself. As he poses and I get hurt. Yep, this is really happening. Tell me about your strength. Yourself again. <laughs> Stop posing! It's not even your pose, I think that's Hulk Hogan. I got one zenny out of it. What a nice body you have, you pass. Oh, that was creepy. manager is waiting. And I'm still hurt from all that flexing. I'm the manager of the battle show. You may call me Argus. Seems you're in luck. First opponent is a petite young maiden. Sounds easy enough. Despite her feminine wiles, she nonetheless possesses the fighting instinct of a wild animal. First and foremost, make it look good. Stick to the script at all costs. You see, I already have everything planned in advance. You can see his mood going down to darker and darker. <laughs> in this corner, you're Bunyan. Or you with a mad gleam in his eye and unquenchable thirst for blood. Finally, the audience. Just the life out of the girl. Wow, this is dark and evil. I have 
taken measures to ensure that my script is executed flawlessly. You see, there'll be snipers, armed with poison darts, and they'll shoot the girl during the match. So there's a chance that you might get hit by accident, but that's entertainment. All you have to do is dodge the darts. Taking the liberty of having quite a handsome advance payment put in your locker room for you. Once you see it, I'm certain you'll loosen up a bit. Alright. So apparently we're getting paid for this kind of bloody violence, so might as well grab it. One thousand zenny. So, it's actually gonna, something I can do here. And I'm gonna do it. Because I don't want to lose that money. So I'm gonna store 1,001. And you'll see why I do this in a second. Actually, should I? I should heal it, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the end real quick. Which means I have to pull out some money. Oops. So I'll take. Not that much. Not that much. Twenty. into this fight to uh, Half-Life here. <laughs> sure, see you later. Alright. Now, you'll see why I put all my money in the bank. Real soon here. Let's do this. You must be Mr. Bunyan. Mr. Argus has left quite a bit of zenny here for you. And <laughs> see how he just appeared. Hey, having second thoughts there, Bunyan. Likewise, a sheet. What's this thing about poison darts? It's one of those funny games. Alright, let's try this. Keep your mouth shut and give me all your zenny. Those boys darts are real. Both of your lives could be in danger. Just give me all your zenny. Should be enough money for two extra strength antidotes. It was only one. If you and the girl each swig one before the fight, those po poison arts might as well be spiny spit wads. <laughs> I guess that didn't work. That girl should. Stubborn is available. Ten times the bite. What am I thinking? You can take both of the antidotes. All you gotta do is throw yourself in the line of fire. Take the bullet. <laughs> if you can wear her down a bit, you can cover her whether she likes it or not. Tastes like freshly brewed hell. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you, doesn't kill you. I love this new translation. He, he pretty much says the same stuff, just not as flourishy. He just goes, uh, you'll have to protect her. Just push her out of the way. <laughs> and it was just bad translation. Everything goes according to my script. Those 
doesn't matter which one you shoot. As long as we end with one corpse and one champion, all the other variables are meaningless. Man. You're one sick dude. And I'm just crazy enough to do this. You tired of your patience, let the bone crushing begin. Five will get you ten, that bunion guy dies in fifteen seconds. Her name is Bunyan anyway. Oh yeah, in the other version her name was, uh, Cat, but in Japan her name was like Lin Poo, so it's shortened to Lin, so they put this name in. Sniper's armed with poison darts. Can I believe you just like that? If you're trying to psych me up, you failed big time. Alright. Now I, as Bunyan, must defeat Lin. Ouch. Tries to taunt you. Every once in a while it'll work. Dodged. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it didn't work this time. And yeah, she's not wearing pants. A <laughs> There's a reason why she's kind of a fetish. But his strength gave out. That's what Taunt does. I'm gonna heal. Using a sardine. Here it comes. Uh, let me explain real quick. If you do not save her and she gets hit by the darts, you do not get her until like much, much farther in the game. So you do want to get her out of the way. There's no reason not to. <laughs> what should I say to him if he wakes up? Yes, you do. Come join me. I'm coming with you. We got a bone to pick with that Argus. Just you watch. Nah. All right, so we got uh, Lynn in our group. Her whole thing is, like, she hits hard, she has a defense of, like, she's really pathetic on the defense front, so if she, uh, takes a big hit, she'll fall pretty easily. Unfortunately, that taunting stuff only works in when she's an opponent. But I do have money, I can buy her weapons. Staff and a 
cat suit. Let's see. Headband. I probably could have saved the one that I had. But I didn't. Alright, that should do it. Nothing I need to sell. Alright, so on the next episode, we confront Argus and give him a piece of our mind as he tried to kill at least one of us with poison. And uh, I put a stop to his plans because they were quite unnecessary for everyone. But we're going to go face him now. So, hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.